In this exercise, I'll show you how to exploit master pages, which allow you to replicate text and graphics across multiple pages inside of a document, as well as create repeating footer and folio information. I'm working inside of a document called GrunbyteArtwork.indd, found inside the Exercise Files folder. And notice this artwork at the top of the page. Let's say I want this artwork, this Grunbyte Inc. artwork, with the eco-friendly technology and all that, to repeat across every single page of this document, all eight pages. If I were to press Alt Page Down or Option Page Down on the Mac to advance to pages two and three, you would see that they don't have that artwork at all. Now I guess one solution would be to copy the artwork and then paste it on a page two and paste it on a page three and paste it on a page four and so on but not only would that be time consuming it would also be inflexible because if you wanted to make a modification to the artwork you would have to perform that modification on each and every page of the document better to assign the document to a master page that way you only have to make any changes once and all of the pages update in kind all right, so let's see how that works. I'm going to press Alt Page Up or Option Page Up on the Mac in order to advance to page one. Armed with my selection tool, I'm going to draw a marquee around this artwork. And by that I mean I'll drag from an empty portion of the document, like so, until I enclose all of the artwork objects that I want to select in this dotted rectangle, which is the marquee itself. Then I'll release. And notice I went ahead and selected all that artwork. I selected a little bit too much though because I also selected this blue bar down the left hand side of the page. I'll shift click on that blue rectangle to deselect it. And now I've selected just the artwork I want to replicate. I'll go up to the edit menu and choose the cut command. Or I could press control X, command X on the Mac, the standard keyboard shortcut for the cut command in order to remove that artwork and send it to the clipboard. Now I'm going to bring up the pages panel by clicking on the pages icon on the right side of the screen and notice these options up here at the top of the pages panel. None, which indicates no master page, and none is the master page that's been assigned to the pages inside of my document so far. Then I have this default master page called A Master, which is the master page I intend to use. So I'll double click on A Master to switch to that master page. Notice that I've already added some footer and folio information, folio being the page number. In order to paste the artwork in place, I'll go to the edit menu and I'll choose the paste in place command. That goes ahead and places the artwork exactly at the location from which it was cut. The reason that it looks like it's off, because we copied the artwork from a right hand page and we're pasting it onto what is essentially a center page because this is just a one page master. We'll solve that problem in just a moment, but for now I'm going to shift drag this selected artwork over to the left until it snaps into place and by virtue of the fact I have the shift key down I'm constraining the angle of my drag to exactly horizontal. Then I'll release when it looks right. All right, we now have a single page master page set up. Let's go ahead and apply it to pages one through eight of this document. I'll click on page one and shift click on page eight to select all of the pages. Then I'll go to this little icon in the upper right corner of the pages panel, click on it to bring up the pages panel menu, and I'll choose apply master to pages. Inside the dialog box, I'll change Apply Master from None to A Master. Then I'll make sure pages 1 through 8 are active, they are, and I'll click OK. And that applies the A Master to all of the pages, as you can see by the indication of these little A's in the corners of each one of the thumbnails. Now I'll double click on 2 through 3 in order to switch to that spread. And notice that the artwork is indeed duplicated across the top of all of the pages. That's totally great. However, I'm going to hide the Pages panel for a moment. Notice the footer and the folio. They should be toward the outside of the facing pages to draw them away from the spine so that they're easy to read. The left hand page is set up properly, but the right hand page is not. So we need to create facing master pages so that we can move this right hand footer over to the right side of the page. All right, so let's go back to the pages panel. Double click on A master to make it active. And I'm going to go up to the palette menu icon, click on it, and I'll choose Master Options for A Master. Among the options in this dialog box is the option to change the number of pages. And I'll change it to two so that we have facing pages. You can also change the name of your master pages if you want. I'm just going to click OK in order to add a page to my master. Notice now that I have a facing page on the right, but it's empty. So that means that every one of the right-hand pages, which are the odd number pages, like 1, 3, 5, and 7, 
do not have any master page objects. And you can see that by double clicking on say four through five, four is properly set up, five is not. All right, so let's go back to A master and let's work on that right hand page. I'll go ahead and hide the pages panel. I'll marquee the artwork. Then I'll press the shift and alt keys. This would be shift and option on the Mac and drag the artwork over to the right page and release. The fact that I had the shift key down constrained the angle of my drag the fact that I had the Alt or Option key down allowed me to duplicate the objects. So now we have the artwork set up properly. Now let's work on the footer and folio. I'm going to press Control and Spacebar. That would be Command and Spacebar on a Mac. And I'm going to drag around this area of the page in order to zoom in on it. Then I'll double click in the word page in order to switch to my type tool and place my blinking insertion marker. Notice we have the word page but we do not have a page number. So I'll press the space bar in order to create a space between the word page and the page number. To add an automated page number, go up to the type menu, choose insert special character, choose markers, and then choose current page number. You really have to dig for this one. And that will add what appears to be an A, but that A stands for A master. When we go to the other pages, we'll see a one for page one, a two for page two, and so on. All right, now I'm gonna switch back to my selection tool and I'm going to zoom out from the page so that we can take in the whole spread and I want to make sure that we have a guide set up on the right hand side so I'll drag a ruler guide out from the vertical ruler on the left side of the screen and I'll drop it into alignment with the right margin on the right page. Alright now I'm going to press the shift and alt keys or the shift and option keys on the Mac and I'm going to drag this footer all the way over to the right page like so. So it snaps into alignment with that right ruler guide. Then I'll double click inside of the text to switch to the type tool and make my text active. I'll go up to the control panel, click on the paragraph formatting controls icon, and then I'll set the alignment of this text to align right. And it looks like that. That's perfect. So we now have our footers and folios toward the outsides of the facing pages. Now let's check out the pages themselves. I'll go back to my pages panel and I'll double click on say six through seven, something we haven't seen so far. Hide the pages panel. We can see the artwork across the top of the page and we have the footers and folios across the bottom of the pages. And if we wanted to make any changes, all we do is go back to the master page, change the elements, come back to this page and see our changes applied. You won't believe how much you can automate your designs and how much time you can save by taking advantage of master pages inside InDesign.